What's up, YouTube? So I'm doing a propane uh, gas conversion on a Whirlpool dryer. Bought the part. It's a licensed part, OEM equipment. Uh, it's the part number that you will need for the this type of dryer. Converting from natural gas to propane. So going through the whole thing, they want you to take the whole dryer completely apart. And I just really wasn't feeling taking the whole dryer apart. So my type of dryer it has me start here taking the door off. Pop the little latches up and it pops out. And then unscrewing the three quarter inch uh, hex drive bolts. Now this step right here where it tells you to stick the putty knife in there. I had a really hard time getting putty knife in there. I ended up using a pie pan <laughs> to get it right here in this corner. So you get one on each corner and you really gotta get it in there pretty deep. Let me just show you real quick what those clips look like. Excuse the mess. I'm trying to set up Christmas tree and all that right now. But here's the the clips that you have to push in with that pie pan, dude. And these things are hard to push with my thumb. I mean, they said use a putty knife. You're prying from the front. Let me show you. Yeah, I'm trying to get that thing off. It is not coming out. But anyways, once you do that. Then you flip this uh, that control panel forward, and uh, right, right there. And then they want you to disconnect the wiring harness. So I was able to disconnect all these ones, but for some reason this pin right here will not come out. I don't know if there's like a special unlock button, but I sat here for half hour trying to get that thing out it will not come out so I ended up sliding the dryer lid forward popping it off they want you to take the whole thing off and then as I started getting more and more into the steps um, you know they want you to take the front door off so there's two uh, T20 hex screws that go in right here for the front door. One, two, and then there's four quarter inch uh, screws on the bottom, but mine had like a little dust plate covering those screws. So I had to pop the dust plate off to have access to those. Then uh, you do undo the dryer vent Phillips screws, and then you pop the whole door off. Well then, once I got here to remove the belt and drum, I'm like, dude, I'm not removing the belt and drum. So, uh, by the way, using uh, Klein tools, it's a new kit they have down at uh, Lowe's right now. It's 29 bucks on Black Friday, and I've used that to take apart the whole dryer, minus a uh, little flathead, I was using that to try to get these clips off and then I had this uh, little pry tool to try to get this harness out but I didn't want to rip it and I couldn't get that connector out so didn't end up doing it but anyways disregard removing the drum come down here and there's two screws right here one two and then there's two screws right here. One, two. Come around the back. Excuse me, I gotta run the table. Got so much junk everywhere. Then you take this screw and this screw off. It's holding the gas line. Pop this little uh, clip off. This is like pinching the gas line. Just pull that off. Come back around. I was uh, 
first attempting to try to disconnect these connectors. I got one off, the other one was not coming off. But you don't have to disconnect those connectors. All you have to do is disconnect this connector and the one behind it. Once you do that, you got those two screws off. These two screws off, you slide that whole assembly completely out. And then you change your jet right here. Or not the jet, that's the regulator. And then you change the jet, which is on the front. Once you pull the whole thing out, there's a couple screws. Let me get it in there. Right, those two screws, once you have the whole assembly out, you can take those off and you, it takes the burner uh, tube off and then you have access to the jet. And those were uh, 5 sixteenths, those two screws. Everything else was quarter inch, but I felt like pulling that whole assembly out rather than take the whole fucking drum and belt, excuse my language, it was a lot easier. Still, my first time doing a dryer I've done the kitchen stove and uh, just felt like I'd share I didn't really see any newer model updates so now that that's all assembled I'm gonna pop the front back on pop the lid back on and then put the panel back on and you're done and you can disregard uh, Removing the drum. If you're looking to convert from natural gas to propane, they're saying orifice number 55. Butane. I don't know anybody that runs butane, but I'm just guess up in the mountains maybe in the bush. 49 is the orifice for that. So just make sure after you install the orifice that you check to make sure you don't have a 55 left. Because if you do, that means you put the wrong one in. It's going to LP. So pretty much after you get the drum out, it tells you to do everything I just told you to do. So you don't have to remove the whole drum. Two different style conversions. Um, I did notice that on my jet, so it came with a white one and a black one. Well, this thread was too large to fit my orifice. I had to use the black one. This is the natural gas one. This was the plug for the regulator. And then this was the butane one. So the only thing I had to do that I've seen in, in other videos is everybody was using the white one for the propane. Well, this thread did not fit in mine, only the black, black one did. Here's the certified part number for the LP gas conversion for the Whirlpool dryer. Uh, gonna get this all buttoned up. Stop wasting your time. Just hope this helps anybody that plans on doing this. Um, the store does not sell the part. You can hire someone for 400 bucks to come out and do it. Um, I don't see what the big deal is. You're just changing out a jet and a regulator. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put the sticker on the burner. You should do that uh, after you convert it, just so if you have a repair guy come out, they can see that it's been converted, or if you resell the dryer, they can see that it's been converted. And then I like to keep the uh, factory OEM parts, and then I'll bag them up and either tape them to the back or put them in a safe spot with all my other junk. And then when we sell it, I can give this to the new owner or whoever but uh thanks for watching i hope this helped anybody I'm gonna go ahead and put this all back together in reverse order so thank you